Hi, and thanks for joining me. If you haven't caught me before on Facebook Live, my name is Brittany Droz, and I help entrepreneurs and business owners like you step into greater growth, make more money, and love your business again, and get excited about what you're creating, and really find something that you enjoy pursuing and diving all into. So what does that have to do with what I'm going to talk about today? So I had intentions of talking about something totally different, like financial health of your business, and that was going to beautifully tie into talking about the group I'm going to launch, but things have gone a little differently than I had planned, and it feels really right to talk about something that is um, come up several times over the course of the day. So I want to talk with you about getting uncomfortable. And there are several ways in which it's come up today that I want to share with you. First of all, it's like 100 degrees. So <laughs> I am doing my best here to not be uncomfortable with uh, this temperature. Um, it pushes you in new ways. Like you might notice things that make you a little more annoyed or whatnot. Um, but I chose to come to work anyway, knowing that I did not have central AC. I have a window unit, but sometimes on days when it's 100, it is not adequate. But that's okay, that's part of getting uncomfortable. This morning, my daughter woke me up at about four o'clock because uh, she needed all of her sheets changed and her diaper changed and all of that. That's uncomfortable. But times like that, you have to dive in and do it anyway. I managed somehow to get her back asleep, and I snuck out and went to the gym at 5.30 this morning. Um, shout out to my gym friends who gave me a lot of flack for being the uncomfortable, complaining pregnant lady at the gym this morning. It was uncomfortable. But doing it, like pursuing it, following through, riding through the discomfort or facing it head on, knowing it's going to be less comfortable than staying in bed. It's going to be less comfortable, um, you know, coming to work today is less comfortable than sitting on the couch and watching Netflix. There are all these moments where we make ourselves less comfortable, but it's for a purpose. It's for a reason. We're making that trade-off for a reason and you've got to examine it. I just had a few amazing sessions today. See, I knew I was supposed to come to work for a reason and bear this heat. A few amazing sessions with clients today where we really focused in on what gets you uncomfortable. Where are you staying in your comfort zone way too long where it's gone far beyond pleasurable but it's actually hindering your growth. I'm sure some of you know the name Tony Robbins, and he is a pretty you know, famous um, self-development life coach professional. And he talks about the root of happiness being about your personal evolution. So are you working on something like you could be your physical health. It could be, uh, you know, growing your business. It could be your personal relationships. Are you working on something currently in your life where you are getting uncomfortable, where you are trying new things, where you are focused on doing whatever it takes in pursuit of your goal? If you are, you are likely experiencing happiness, a level of engagement that makes it worth getting up and out of bed in the morning. If you're not getting uncomfortable, where are you selling yourself short? Where are you choosing to stay in that comfort zone when the opportunities present themselves? And how could you do it differently? How could you choose to do one thing that makes you a little more uncomfortable than you were yesterday. And I'm not asking you to do something random, 
Do it in pursuit of the growth you want to have. Do it in, in alignment with your purpose. Do it to make a huge impact. All of these things will help reinforce you doing it when you don't want to get uncomfortable. I rely on things like that all the time. But be conscious of it. Consciously make these decisions to get off the couch and do something uncomfortable. Consciously make the decision to have that really tough conversation with someone you really respect but need to give them that direct communication and feedback. Consciously make yourself uncomfortable towards the pursuit of excellence, your excellence, your self-growth, your evolution in this journey. Thanks so much for watching today. See you soon.